Greetings, Charles Spurgeon, the Prince of Preachers, read voraciously through the week. But not until Saturday night did he determine and develop his message for the following morning. Only on Sunday afternoon did he prepare his evening address, but it worked. For 30 years, he kept London's Metropolitan Tabernacle packed. On Sunday night, March 8, 1874, Spurgeon preached from 1 Corinthians 6.20 God paid a great price for you, so use your body to honor God. Had you entered Metropolitan Tabernacle that evening, you would have heard Spurgeon's carillon voice peeling these words to the lampet hall. You young men who have come to London amidst advices, shun everything that is akin to your lewdness or leads on to the unchastity. For your bodies were bought with your Lord's lifeblood, and they are not yours to trifle with. Shun the strange woman, her company, her wine, her glances, her house, her songs, her resorts. Your bodies are not yours to injure for self by self indigence of any sort. Keep them pure and unchaste for the heavenly bridegroom who has brought them with his blood. And then your soul is bought too. Keep the soul pure. Christ has not bought these eyes that should read novels calculated to lead me into vanity and vice, such as are published nowadays. Christ has not bought this brain of mine that I may revel in the pursual of works of blasphemy and filthiness. He has not given me a mind that I may drag it to the mire with the hope of washing it clean again. Your whole manhood belongs to God if you are a Christian. Every faculty, every natural power, every talent, every possibility of your being, every capacity of your spirit is all bought with blood. Therefore keep the whole for Jesus, for it belongs to Him. Let us read a portion of the scripture. Don't be immoral in the matters of sex. That is a sin against your own body in a way that no other sin is. You surely know that your body is a temple where the Holy Spirit lives. The Spirit is in you and is a gift from God. You're no longer your own. God paid a great price for you. So use your body to honor God. 1 Corinthians 6, 18-20 May the Lord bless us all. Amen.